Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, as well as some text above it that I like to ease in with a slide. Now, you may be familiar with using the slide transition from the effects panel, but as you can see, this adds a very rigid linear animation which doesn't look the best. So let's get rid of that and add a nice slide with an easy ease instead. First, you'll need to select your text clip on the timeline, and then go over to Effect Controls. In Effect Controls, make sure your playhead marker is positioned near the star of the graphic clip. Now, we're not going to work in the graphics or vector motion area, but instead in the generic video section below. Under Motion, you should see the position setting, and the first number will represent its current horizontal position. So what you'll need to do is drag that number to the left until your text is a little bit off screen. Then go ahead and click the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe which will represent the starting point for the animation. Next up, move the playhead marker anywhere past that first keyframe. Then drag the position's first number to the right this time until it's back on the screen and centered if that's what you're going for. All right, if we play this back now, you'll see it does that same rigid animation like the built-in slide transition. However, since we animated this by hand, it'll allow us to go up here and add an ease to our keyframes for a much smoother animation. All right, first drag to select both of your keyframes, then right click either selected keyframe and hover over temporal interpolation to see your options. The simplest approach is to just select ease in. And right away, I can tell this playback is smoother. This is probably enough for some of you, but let's dive a bit deeper and add a more dramatic ease with a sharper curve. Back in effect controls, click the drop down arrow next to position, which will allow you to see the actual animation curve. To edit your curve, select your second keyframe to display this little handle on the curve below. Now, all you have to do is drag the little circle part of the handle to the left to make your curve sharper. This time when we play it back, it's much snappier, but still a very smooth animation. Finally, you may want to adjust the speed of the animation, which you can do by dragging the second keyframe closer or further to the first one. You may need to adjust the curve after you do this, since changing the speed can make it look kind of weird. Sometimes I even like to adjust the handle on the first part of the curve to make it more even throughout the animation. But yeah, that's it for this simple trick. So as always, thanks for watching and catch you next time.